Well, following the devastation left behind after Hurricane Florence, you may want to help those in need, but officials are saying to beware now of scammers. Our Emily, Emily Harrison, excuse me, sat down with an IT expert on how to avoid being scammed. Anytime where there's uh, human suffering, I think you'll see that uh, cyber criminals view that as an opportunity. Videos and pictures of Hurricane Florence show floodwaters wreaking havoc across the Carolinas. But be warned because scammers are watching too. We see that ramp up every time there's uh, anything that happens around the world. Um, and a lot of times it's because, you know, people can't get to the area that one of uh, somehow volunteer participate and so the way they do that is through financial aid. Scammers posing on Facebook, email and other online platforms as fake charities. Texas Tech students tell us it's hard to meet someone who hasn't experienced scamming in some way. I had a relative whose email we presume got hacked because their email randomly sent out a link that the person themselves did not send out and we don't know what exactly the link was. It's terrible. It's, it's, I think it's unfortunately part of humanity that we see when there's an opportunity, people are going to try to take advantage of a situation. Um, I think one of the real downsides is that it keeps people from being generous in the future. Scams preventing actual victims from getting the help they need. If you are trying to make a donation, Thomas warns everyone to take your time in choosing a charity. Uh, we think obviously giving is great and it's very needed and helpful. Um, but I think we all owe it to ourselves to do a little research before we just click and give. Emily Harrison, KLBK News. Emily, thank you.